بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ربي شحلي صدري وسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي by all means I'm so glad so happy to be part of this lovely function especially it comes from Care Lights friends I've been almost quoted saying that Kerala is my second home, and it is second home. <laughs> and I was quoted in several times when I said, I love Kerala, and I love Kerala. Yeah. The function today has reminded me of one English word which is, I, I think it's very important for myself and for everyone who decided to come and be part of this lovely function. The word is legacy. The word is legacy. I want everyone here, just bear with me and look at the backdrop. The backdrop consists of three legends, if I would. Gandhi, late Sheikh Zaid, and Sayyid Al-Qam, Sayyid Al-Faqih. They're no more on the ground. They're no more with us. But they're living among us. Because the value they were carrying, the principles they were carrying, the human side they were, they were carrying with them. Okay, we're living in Dubai, so we'll have those nosy aircraft all the time, mashallah. So I have to break every single time I speak. So they left a rich legacy. <coughs> they were able to capitalize on the intellectual they have, their mind and the heart. That's why we're still living their principles. We still love them. We still try to adopt some of the way they were viewing and perceiving life. Where are we going? I guess this question each one of us should ask. Where am I going? What is the contribution I'm giving to the whole world? There is no better time to think at the timeless principles to think a human than the times we are living now. It is the time for humanitarian to get together. The coronavirus, which is spreading in a very, very, very fast way, and every single day a country starts to announce that has reached here and probably the first time ever you see the Chinese president coming to the media and appeal for one thing he never asked for a financial assistant or a medical assistant he did ask one thing he said I want our friends who love China and I want the Muslims to pray for China. So there is no better time than loving each other. We all have smartphone here, right? Can anybody please ring the Dubai airport to stop the flights? <laughs> Tell them Dr. Rashid Reem is speaking. 
Only half an hour, only for the God's sake. All right, inshallah. So there's no better time where we need to stick together. Be a happy people. When we start to treat, to treat each other on a religious value, we fail. And we will never succeed. The time we start to treat each other with a human value is the time you're going to win. You just read history. In this universe, there's something called timeless principles. In this world, there's something called value system. When you break these things, we're breaking the human chain. I will stop, don't worry. All right. You know, there's a big difference between knowing and doing. Probably we are all know what I've been saying, and most of the people on the die is going to say, or those who sit, something great by all means. Even though I don't need, I, I don't speak much Malayalam, but yes, they did say something good, I guess, right? So, let's do exercise tomorrow morning. Are you ready? Yes. Small exercise. Please try it. And you will re remember me for good, inshallah. <coughs> All right. The first thing you say tomorrow morning when, we wake, when you wake up, a thank you. It can be a thank you to Almighty. You decide. It can be a thank you to your wife for being a lovely wife for so many years together. It could be a thank you to your daughter. Daughter, I love you so much. You've been part of my life, part of my legacy system. I love you so much and thank you for being part of my life. Right. And say thank you to the airplanes too, right? Don't forget. Say a thank you probably to your manager Try this. Sometimes it's very hard to say it. Something is stopping us. We have mental blo blockage. This is what is stopping us sometimes from saying it. We may live in the same house, but we're disconnected. We're very much connected with the smartphones with the same people probably in the house, but very much disconnected in silos and isolation when it comes to the emotional side of us, the human side of us. The same thing, it carries at home, carried outside when it comes to the work, to the society. Sometimes we cross on each other, but we never say hi, good morning, how do you do? Sometimes you see people saying, staying somewhere. Look, they're frustrated of something. We don't even have the gut to stand up in front of them and say, hey, my name is so-and-so. Is there anything I can do for you? we start to lose the basic human value system because we started to look at each other. The color we carry on our skin, the religion we have, the faith we have, the principle we have, that is why the world is in big trouble nowadays. I don't want to take much of the time 
but you promise me to, tomorrow to say thank you, right? Yes, Including your wives. Yes, All right. The problem with us as individuals is the same thing. The problem with companies, corporate organizations, and it is the same thing when it comes to the country level. You know what's the problem in, in general now? And that is the, the starting point of all the problems we have. We are living in two different time zones. Remember, we are living in two different time zones. We are living in the past, and the past, as they say in English, past. Nothing you can do about it. It could be a very good experience. I'm not saying the past always the negative experience. It could be a very good experience. And the second time zone we are living in is the future. And there are always a fear about the future. There are always a concern about the future. So we live in the past, whatever experience it was, and we live in the future. There's something is going to happen. And I need to be prepared for. And we forget something very beautiful. In English, they call the present, which is the present time. So we start to, to, to look at the very extreme, a past experience and something yet to be created called the future. And we forget about ourselves. We forget the good time we should enjoy. Enjoy the moments. Enjoy the moments. Recall your energy to gain strength. If you Google now a hurricane or tornado in your smartphone and would go to the image, what you will see in the hurricane or the, or the tornado or the very strong wind, you will see in the center A small circle, most of the time, looks white circle. And from this circle starts the, 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 the heavy, the hurricane or the heavy winds. From the quiet time, started quiet and goes and keeps zooming and gets bigger and gains strength as she grows. So from the quiet time, we create things, and this is what we need to do. We need just to stop for a moment and have that peaceful time. If your car is a bit far from here, when you go, please try to have that quiet time with yourself. Just be quiet. Listen to one thing. Listen you to your inhale and the exhale of your air coming to your body you will discover a different person in you there's so much to be said there's so much to be shared but i think time always a challenge it's better to focus in one thing, and be creative, be innovative, and create a better tomorrow. And it is better together. Once again, thank you very much for inviting me, and thank you very much, really thank you.